Okay, I know that some of you want me to make videos that aren't specific about hair loss on this channel. So I'm just experimenting with it. So far, it, my subscribership is still going up. Actually, a lot in one day, the day I talked about poop and Donald Trump. So maybe I'll continue to, just to kind of sprinkle in some videos that aren't about hair loss. I'm still experimenting with it. It's all about money. As long as I don't lose subscribers over it, as long as I gain subscribers, I'm fine with non-hair loss subjects. But in response to the video, Poop, Donald Trump, and the illusion that I'm obsessed with my hair loss, Daniel Sturridge had this to say, quote, you should look into the alt-right, AKA white nationalism, end quote. To which I replied, quote, I'm too ethnic to qualify. I'm Mexican, Jewish, and Middle Eastern on my mom's side, end quote. So I just wanted to, uh, to talk about that. I think it's interesting. Uh, you know, I grew up in the South, you know, I grew up in Fort Payne, Alabama, which was like a mountain town. It, it, I grew up like mountains and rivers and canyons. Google it. It's a really nature vibe kind of place. Uh, and you know, I can't say that my upbringing was any more arguably racist than anyone else's could, because I think to some degree, w w at being exposed to racism and growing up, I think everyone does to some degree. Uh, but then you get to choose whether or not you want to be a part of it. And I learned pretty quickly, I really couldn't be racist if I wanted to, because I remember my Mexican grandma made it very clear that, that God loves us all the same. And it's wrong to look down on a person because they have different ethnicity than, 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 than I do. And that coming from my Mexican grandma who grew up in a very multi-ethnic neighborhood in Buffalo, New York, uh, I, I learned very early too by simply looking at my grandparents who were very dark and had different names than everybody else that I really couldn't be racist if I wanted to. It, and it's funny because as you take DNA tests, which on my other channel, that's all I talk about. It's called Family Friendly Daddy Blog and we just talk about DNA test results. It's actually fun, if you can believe it, to talk about that. But it's funny because if I, people like me, if I wanted to be racist and, and say white power and all that stuff and truly believe that, I would instantly A, be a hypocrite and B, be kicked out of the group. Because why would anybody want me I mean, I'm Dutch and German on my dad's side, and he's getting a DNA test, so we'll know officially, but that's pretty much what he is. But my mom, she's half Mexican. Then one of her grandparents was, they were from Italy, but he was, he was basically Middle Eastern, and then he married someone who was Sephardic Jewish. So I've got too much ethnicity to be racist. And my mom's even a little bit African as well. Um, and I think that came through the Jewish side. So. I just, w I wouldn't qualify, you know? And people try to say that, that Adolf Hitler was part Jewish. Whether or not that's true, it, it shines light on the fact that if you want to be racist, you have to truly just be that one race. And I'm not, I'm, I'm more than one. So uh, I want to make it clear, I, I don't want to ever be a racist. I have no plans to ever become a racist. That's the opposite of the thing that I would ever want to do and will do. But then B, I'm disqualified because of my ethnic background. Uh, it's already too diverse. And especially now that I've taken the DNA test through my heritage, it's all in black and white. And on my other channel, I've made so many videos talking about it. So I hereby am disqualified from being a racist.